Did you hear what just happened? Flip, formerly known as Flipgrid, is going away. Good, good memories. I have trained thousands, maybe a hundred thousands of people on Flipgrid, and now teachers are going, how do I have a video discussion board? Like, what's another option? Um, and if you want more details on what happened to Flipgrid and what they're doing, I included it in my Buff Nuggets newsletter. It's also all over the web. Just look up Flipgrid, Flip going away, and, and there's that. But here is Padlet, and Padlet is a, a reputable ed tech tool that many schools have already been using. I'm using the free version. They give you three Padlets. And I like to kind of consider these as discussion posting boards. So I already made one just to kind of test things out and make sure I know what I'm talking about. I'm going to make another one. So, so you can see the process. Um, and you can use your Google or Microsoft account to log into Padlet. So I'm going to make a Padlet. And it, it wants to know, and i got to move my head. It wants to know, like, what kind of Padlet do I want to make? Uh, so I'm going to say a blank board. But actually, I want to make this, um, I'm going to do this grid style. So... If it is a stream, it's just like the most top, the first one comes on, you know, a stream, you know, you've been on Instagram before, that's what that means. I'm going to do one where it's just a grid, where it's just like, you're going to see multiple videos on the same screen at one time. So let's do that. And let's keep it simple. I didn't give it a title. I should have given it a title. Oh, let me click that again. There we go. Um, flip is gone. Now what? Okay, that's great. And then I could choose the wallpaper. You know, let's not, let's make this, I don't want to spend too much time on this. So save, um, sort by drag and drop. We're going to sort by date published. You know, maybe the newest is first or the old, the oldest is first. Whoever's first to do it, you're at the top. I don't, I don't know. Allow users, viewers to comment on posts. Well, that's one of the main features of Flipgrid that people like is how do we make this thing collaborative and authentic so students are, are commenting on each other's work. So I'm going to turn that on. You could turn that off. So by the way, do anything new. You probably want to go with the maximum, um, you know, protections like, you know, Brian, I don't know these kids. I don't know how things are going to go. You're like, no, we're not doing comments. We got to, we got to go through the basics first. So that's just a little extra buff nugget there. Reactions. You want to turn on reactions. Uh, moderation. This is very important. How do you want this thing moderated? Well, at the very beginning, you say, you know, I want to, I maybe want to manually approve all posts and comments because I don't know my students, or maybe you already have a great vibe with, with your class. Um, there's also some kind of AI moderation thing. Haven't played with that. Don't know. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to say none for now, just so, um, we can just speed along here. So there's that. Um, and that, that looks good. That looks great. Let's just let's just go there. Re remakes. Uh, that means someone else could take my Padlet and I guess another educator down the hall, which is fine. But I'm going to say no one can do it unless you're an admin. Um, icon. I guess this, this is like a thing people see in the when you see all the palettes together. So maybe I'll choose bacon because that's that's lovely. Now, here's the next. Two. I'm going to hit out of here. I'm going to hit out of here. That's what I'm going to do. Now, um, I need, how do we get this to people? <laughs> so that's the biggest, so the teacher did all this work. Now, how do we actually get this to students? So we get a link, like we've done this before. And visitor permission, the visitor can write, they can make a post. Link privacy, we have lots of options here. Uh, this palette will be hidden from the public. Only people with the link can access it. I would hope so. You know, I don't want just random people getting to the, to my Buffington Padlet here. I I did this one for now because I think this is probably the most classroom-ish. Only logging visitors with the link can access the palette. That means you actually have to log in with a Google or Microsoft account. You can't just be doing this anonymous. We don't want that. So I'm going to click that. Um, and then I'm going to say copy link to the, to the clipboard. And once you do this a couple of times, it's going to be pretty fast. So copy. And so now I'm going to pretend I'm a student. How do I add to this? So let's go here. I'm in a different browser, it's still Chrome, but a different account. I'm going to paste that link in there. <gasps> Members only log into your Padlet account. So I'm like, all right, I'll log in. And this is where it's friendly to a lot of people who are on Chromebooks and, and students can easily just do a single sign on here. So I'm going to log in with Microsoft or Google. I'm going to, get to continue and tell them to be nice with my data. And now we just hit the plus sign. So I'm a student and hit the plus sign. I'm going to add to this. 
and the subject is maybe you gave the students and um, you gave them instructions on how to title it. Now, if it's littles, we're just we're just like we teach them how to find the video button. So right here, there's a video recorder. Now let's be very very upfront. This these this again does not have all the features of Flip. All the accessibility features it does not have those this is a people who are going to really miss this you can still achieve a lot of, of those tasks so um, we have lots of options but the one we want we're wanting to do is video recorder and by the way if you never played with palette there's lots of cool stuff you can do with this and let's make a video oh my goodness hey i'm making a padlet hey everybody my name's brian and um i'm so glad to be in class and i love my teacher my teacher is amazing so hit that, I'm gonna hit playback and save, give it a title. I'm not gonna give it a title, hit save. And, it, and it's gonna upload, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna. There it goes. Uh, I could write a caption, maybe that's part of my assignment, but I'm just gonna publish this thing. So there it is, it is now on the Padlet. And now I'll go back to the teacher view, which is the other one I had. And that video is now there and students can add comments. Um, they have to be logged in to add comments, and that is enough to kind of get us playing around. So I did that demo in probably a few minutes, um, and I feel like this will be helpful to a lot of people. It's definitely, again, it's not the same level of Flip or Flipgrid because their specialty is video, but this is a workaround. So there you go, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, comment, give me a digital high five, do a dance in your living room, wherever you're at. And have an amazing summer if you're if you're watching this in early June 2024. Later, Gator. Bye.